what's up everybody bike builder bear in the house thank you for watching this video so is the WL toys buggy the LC racing buggy now it's not but it's a very close clone and I got proof check it out so check this out I got this from my friend Joseph this is the chassis plate for an EMB LC racing buggy. This thing is exactly, exactly the same as the WL Toys 144019. It, it, it's scary. So, my buddy, since he spent $400 on the LC racing one, he, and he turned it into a different version. He said, hey, I got this. So I'm going to attempt to put this carbon fiber piece on there. Since it appears from what me and him have looked over on his car and mine is they're the same exact car. So my question is, is this WL Toys car just a clone of the LC Racing? I believe it is. Oh, and check out my new drift tires. Loving them. Loving them. Also, I'm going to go ahead and grease up my differentials. I haven't done it. I like to ride, or I, I like to drive my cars a little bit. Um, a little dry, break in the gears, and then as soon as they start showing, a, you know, the geariness, the chatteriness, then I pack them, you know, and I find that the cheapo weepos like this, they run a little better when you just break them in a little and then slap some really heavy grease. And I don't, I don't use any of the hobby grade greases. I just throw the Lucas high tack red grease in there. That's the best stuff that I've used. I think it makes your differentials and everything work great. Also the gears. That stuff just slings around real nice. It gets a coating that, that just lubricates. Um, so if you haven't tried that really sticky um, high tack grease, I would recommend doing the Lucas Red high tack grease. <laughs> So this LC Racing Carbon Fiber Upper Deck almost fits perfectly. The motor mount is a little different and I think it's even going to be a little bit different when it comes to the, uh, uh, the frame plate. I think the mounting holes on that would be a little different if you got this. I think that's one of the little ways that they were able to do this without probably getting sued or something but then again it's from China and China clones everything so on this part this upper deck this upper deck cover plate as you can see I just channeled it out right here I'm gonna go to my drill press and very very carefully drill out a set of new holes and I'm going to trim that just a little more. I just trimmed it, but I'm going to give it a little more. Then grease everything up and put it back together.
LC Racing EMT or EMB, whichever. Um, I'll put the picture up again. The LC Racing upper deck worked on this just with a little modification. Then, like I said, I took the stock um, upper deck and I scavenged the back half because I felt that this had a little more structural support to brace the carbon fiber piece than this, which I tried to channel out. This is a nice piece, but I just feel there's a lot more meat. There's those little ridges right there, you know, and this covers this whole area where I had to do a little bit of uh, modification, butchering on this side to that to get it to work. But like I said, this buggy is pretty much the you know, the LC racing buggy. So anybody out there that's got these, um, you might want to look into those parts. And if you got some fabrication skills, you'll most definitely be able to use LC racing parts, buggy parts on this WL toys. So, um, I got these new drift tires. I got that on. I'm going to mount my electronics real quick. I've, uh, greased up my differentials and my spur gear and pinion gear so let's give it a little spin
as crazy as I used to be. Not as crazy as I used to be.